Hey friends, just a quick video. Welcome to the channel. I'm Rob and I uh, want to give you just a little bit of a review. Um, the kit is not going to be as significant of a review. This is the Hasegawa 1200 scale Space Shuttle Orbiter and Hubble Space Telescope. Um, but I used a aftermarket decal set on this that I want to talk about a little bit. Um, so again, 1200 scale. Let's go ahead and get you into the booth here. And uh, you can see Hubble is not done. It's uh, in its all clad black primer waiting for its next stages of, uh, of uh, completion. However, here we have the shuttle. I chose to build the shuttle closed and as Endeavor. And this is one of the three space shuttles that's available in 200 scale. One is the Ravel um, Snap Tight Kit. Uh, one is the AMT, or t um, technically it's the old Lindbergh kit. It has recently been reissued as the AMT um, uh, Moonraker from the Mo James Bond movie of the same name. And then this one, the Hasegawa kit. So as you can see, we've got some detail. It may be a little bit... over messy <laughs> but hopefully you get the idea and I want to show you the bottom as well uh, now I do have the stand permanently attached so You'll have to view around the stand here. But if I can get this in focus, you'll notice those are some photorealistic tiles. All right, now let's talk a little bit about this decal set that I used. I'm gonna set this to the side. Um, this set is produced by HD Model Works, Brian Mantney. You may recognize that name from some of like the historical space model um, groups on Facebook. By the way, this is my issue. Not it, it is not a problem with the decal sheet. I simply forgot to put something between um, copies of this decal sheet. And so that just happened to stick. But this is a later space shuttle. This is full thermal blankets. Um, photorealistic tiles. This is a complete set to do your one 200 scale space shuttle in. Uh, you'll notice, for example, it includes two different window frames. And at the time, I didn't realize it. And so my Endeavor actually has an early window frame. The early window frames for Columbia and um, Enterprise had a red seal uh, between panes, and the later orbiters did not. So if you look at mine, it happens to have that red seal, and I'm just not going to go back and fix it. I've already got it clear-coated and sealed. But we've got material here for the proper spacing of Columbia's USA. We have, um, uh, we have stuff for the bottom of the solid rocket boosters. Ohms pods, external tank, the boat tail. This is a very nicely done decal set. And I think this was 10 or $12 for the whole set. So uh, plus shipping. So very, very, very reasonably priced. Um, so a few things. Um, the kit is not designed or the decals, I should say, are not designed to do this portion here. It does include the um, black stripe there on the upper um, thrusters. I recreated the rest of it, and that's really, I, I don't feel like I did a very good job. You can tell as you come around to the bottom here where that changes. That's on me. Um, that may be the only suggestion I would have as an upgrade to this set. 
would be having parts specifically designed for this area here. Um, some other areas, I, again, I think my, probably more so my fault than anything else, I did not quite get the um, wing butted up against the fuselage there. And the ohms pods look a little grayer than I feel that they should. But I think part of that is because I didn't give, I didn't get quite as good of a base coat on there as I thought I had. I've obviously got some touch-ups to do here on the reinforced carbon carbon. I did not choose to go back and cut out um, the drag chute. Um, I guess the only other mild, and this may be just kind of, I don't know, this may be piddly. The, the coloration on this side, on the port side wing, and the coloration on the starboard side wing are slightly different. I don't know if that's um, intentional. I've, I've not noticed that on any of the actual orbiters. I could be wrong. Um, I clearly accidentally scraped up here. Create a little gap. We'll, we'll call it character. And I had some paint get away from me here. Um, all in all, I would definitely invest in these decals again. Uh, the fact that I have another set of them right here shows you that I think they're pretty good. Um, I did wind up total um, getting three sets over the time that I had it. And I used elements of that second set, or of, of the third set, to um, build up the blankets here, which are not included. Um, and I just built them up out of overlapping portions of cargo bay uh, and um, Ohm's pod. It, it felt like the best way to recreate that. So I guess I should say that's the other part that's not included. And I realized the upper fuselage, the crew module area here is very difficult to, um, it's a very difficult area to, to try to create a decal for. So um, this isn't perfect, but you know, we talk about the three foot test and with the three foot test, it'll pass and she looks a little bit weathered. So I'm good with that. So the Endeavor joins my fleet. I would highly recommend this decal set. Again, I think, and again, please don't quote me on this, but I think it's about uh, 10 or $12 for this set. So my thanks to Brian Mantney uh, for producing these, getting them out there, uh, join some of the great offerings from some of our other garage kitters uh, to help us make our spacecraft more uh, accurate. So uh, that's about it for my review of this uh, Hasegawa Orbiter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.